March 31st, notes from Papa, to my dearly loved child, who has the most special place in my heart, I want you to look at another very special and very important aspect of our relationship. You are literally and actually the bride of Christ. I know that for a man that can be a hard concept to grasp, just like for a woman being sons of God can seem strange. Both are descriptions that have much, much greater meaning than your human language can convey. As the Apostle Paul writes in Romans 7, you, all mankind, were once married to the law. It was your husband. It ruled you harshly with no grace. It pointed out all your faults and shortcomings and never built you up. It constantly condemned you, and you lived in a perpetual state of trying to live up to its impossible demands, but never succeeding. Your life was forced on rules, regulations, sin management, and behavior modification. You lived in constant fear of your ever-demanding husband. Others just rebelled and had affairs with the world. But your old master, husband, Mr. Law, died. I did that to set you free to marry another, Jesus. Jesus, in his great unconditional love, chose you in advance to be his bride, his wife. He initiated the relationship. He set you free from your old, dead husband. Jesus made you the perfect bride for him. Pure, holy, righteous, innocent, without fault, without blemish, without spot or wrinkle. And he has set you aside for him. Your old self, your old relationship to the law passed away and is no more. We created you new, born from above, a new creation literally born in Christ with me as your Father. <clears throat> the Holy Spirit and I gave you new birth in Christ. We didn't leave anything to chance. This was our will. We took great pleasure in doing it. You have been the bride of Christ since the resurrection, when you were born from above with a new life in Christ. You have our DNA, and you are made Christ's bride. You are in our family, and bear our name. We transferred you from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of Christ's light. As the bride of Christ, everything he has is yours. You have a joint account that includes all of the riches in the heavenly realms in Christ. You have the mind of Christ. You are complete in Christ. I, your Papa, who gave you Christ, will give you all things. I delight in you. You are my son's bride. Now you are in continual process of growing in grace, learning what all you have in Christ, learning who you are in Christ, learning how to live as one of our family. For all eternity, you get to grow and dance in our divine triune circle dance of love, joy, peace, and grace. We are totally for you now.